Kenny Crafts presents Nerf Han Solo Blaster and Holster. Johnny Avocado is going to be Kanan Jarrus at Planet Comic Con to compliment my Ahsoka Tano. The picture I found before made it look like his blaster was something similar to Han Solo's. In a more recent search, he has a Mandalorian blaster. Please refer to the updated picture. So, when I had done my original research, I had decided to order a Nerf Han Solo blaster and mod it, and then tried to cheat and order Han's belt and holster. Well, the holster was too small, and so here's how I made a new one. Okay, let's get started. We are modding this uh, Nerf Han Solo Blaster. Uh, we had already painted it black with some just matte, the cheapest black spray paint you can find. Uh, there's a couple of parts that we didn't want to get spray painted. So those are masked with blue painter's tape. And uh, you'll see what that looks like later. So... I'm going over with a uh, silver paint and my original thought was to just go over and dry brush basically the silver onto the black and I just was not getting the finish that I wanted. So now that I know that Kanan Jarrus has a Mandalorian blaster, uh, I have several months until Planet Comic Con to do a mod for uh, a more uh, accurate blaster. And uh, I think it would be very easy. I was trying to uh, make the silver a little darker. Um, so I added a little black to the silver just there. I need to stay on task. <laughs> so I am getting this ready. We are trying out our cosplays uh, for Halloween. So uh, it's been a very busy month and I am in a bit of a time crunch. So all of this is getting done just the, the last few days and even few hours before Halloween. The first coat uh, took quite a while. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, as I was saying, I think I may try to find uh, Kanan's blaster, or I think I found a 3D print of one uh, so that I can make a more accurate blaster for Planet Comic Con for Mr. Avocado. So, putting the final touches on the first coat there. So I ended up putting two coats on there. Now, while that is dry, the first coat is drying. Um, I am going to cut some just EVA craft foam. And I completely screw up the first one. And it's all wonky and crooked. And so I'm like, to heck with it. And so I started over. And it did much better. All right, so I have those, and then I took some uh, some lighter brown color, uh, and I just kind of dabbed it all over, and I didn't get really crazy about uh, getting a, a smooth coat because I wanted it to look like leather. Now here is the original holster 
and it was just way too small because originally this was all stretched together. I've already taken it apart. And so what I'm doing is I'm using some white paper that we have on rolls. And uh, I took some measurements with my uh, tape measure. And now I am going to use the original holster and the measurements that I took to make a uh, pattern to cut out of some new material that we had purchased. Our original thought was just to uh, add on and expand it. However, we did not find any material that looked remotely like the brown leather that the original holster and a belt were made out of. So we went to Joanne Fabrics and picked out just what we wanted. And <clears throat> so I've already taken the whole holster apart. We went crazy with it. Uh, this is like some kind of space alien uh, alligator <laughs> and it ended up looking great it was super easy to work with it was just right over in uh, the area where they have all their cosplay material so I'm so super excited that they now have all that there uh, pretty much year-round so uh, I am making uh, again, I just used the original because that particular part did not need to be any larger. So I just used the original piece to make a, and draw out to for a pattern. And then uh, I'm using, trying to use the material as uh, efficiently as possible so that uh, you know, I could have it for leftovers or another thing. Uh, I actually, originally I was just going to do everything one-sided and I did not uh, end up feeling that that was going to be thick and stiff enough. So I ended up having to cut uh, two of everything out. So had I realized this in the first place, I would have gone about things in a much different way and placed things differently on my material. So there we go, and it had plenty of room there. All right, so and then uh, just cutting uh, a piece to act. Uh, so there's a strap that goes through there to help hold it to your leg that's on the back there. And then that is the top strap to hold it in top. That is the strap itself that goes around your leg. So I, I love my uh, husband's cutting board. It has all these measurements already on it. It makes it super easy for me to make cuts. We keep stealing it back and forth from each other. I'm going to have to get myself one. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy him a new one as a present. All right. So there was a couple of places that I saw that didn't have... Um, very much black paint on them from the spray original spray paint so here i am putting a second coat of silver on and again i just i didn't think that it was giving me the color that i really wanted so uh after this dries uh we're gonna take it outside and uh, give it a coat of the uh black metallic matte uh, spray paint. I really love the effect that it gives and it, it, it really looks like worked metal. Alright, yeah, here we are. 
So I tell you what, getting that handle that helps you spray is like amazing. It helps you really be uh, controlled. So we're going to do uh, a coat on each side. And then after we let that dry, then uh, we took those strips that we cut and painted out of the foam. And we are going to wrap our handle in leather. So uh, were I to do this again, I probably would have paused and held the first one and got it set up first uh, and then did the other one because uh, they kept kind of slipping and I actually had to stand and hold them for quite a while. I tried to wrap a rubber band around it and it was made it worse. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to get a second one of uh, these items so that we can sew them together and give it a little bit more uh, support. And then there is also uh, like a bandolier thing that uh, needs to be made. And so I, I, I made sure that I had enough room to go around uh, uh, the inch and a half or two inches that I wanted um, as I placed the item. And as it was, uh, because of the way I cut it, I ended up having to uh, piece that together with several pieces. Whereas if I'd have had... Uh, well, first of all, I've, I forgot totally about this particular piece. Uh, I wasn't originally going to make it out of this material, in fact. So pre-planning and, and really look at your materials before you get started, I will help uh, save you heartache and, uh, an extra run to the craft store. All right, so here we go. And I uh, put them together. I decided which one I wanted to use as the, the outside or the inside, you know. I love these binder clips. Uh, again, they are one of my favorite not uh, non-traditional craft tools. So I was so uh, pleasantly surprised at how super easy this material was to work with. Uh, it didn't jam up my needles. It didn't pull on the thread. It was amazing. And I am just using a, a regular foot here. Uh, I didn't even have to get out my walking foot. And so I am, I'm really still learning, uh, how to sew. So please, if you are still learning and just a novice, take heart in this. Um, and then my major suggestion would be that, um, just be patient and try to be steady. Don't, um, you know, practice on some garbage material, uh, keeping your foot as steady as possible. So here again, uh, making a, uh, extra side, extra piece for the holster itself so that it could be a little bit, uh, more sturdy. Again, I picked out which side I wanted to use as the uh, inside and outside, so to speak, and then matched up with those binder clips and back over here to the sewing machine. Again, still learning. This was super easy. Um, in fact, this is the first official piece that I have ever like made my own pattern and, and put together. So, uh, welcome to this journey with me.
the first pattern that I tried to to make. I had purchased something I uh, from Joanne Fabrics, and I was trying to make pants to fit my husband. And I don't know what I did on the pattern, but I ended up making pants that barely fit our daughter, who was like ten at the time, maybe twelve. <laughs> So, mistakes have been made. This is after, you know, years of experience, trial and error and experience and uh, finally deciding that uh, I'm just going to YOLO it. So, uh, here I added a piece of elastic for the bottom part of the blaster. And then I kind of sewed myself into a corner. So I ended up having to use uh, brads as rivets to hold it together. And it ended up looking really good. So I hope you have enjoyed this. And uh, we will get to his armor here pretty soon. Thank you so much for checking out this week's craft. Check me out next week for some Doctor Who inspired fun. Until next week, crafters, please like and subscribe for more great crafts.